Hello and welcome to Jill and Ori from Us Lot of Stories at Seven. Well, doesn't that sound exciting? Dong, 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 dong. <laughs> and so it should sound exciting because today's poem, another poem by the lovely A. B. Brennan, is called The Giant Armadillos. And so without further ado, as usual, I shall crack on with this poem about giant armadillos. Are you ready? Ooh. Boom, 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 boom. What's that sound? Do you hear a drumbeat, a shudder underground? The giant armadillos are known in these parts. At dusk they awake and their routine, it starts. They're always on the go, in a state of high alert. They're the first in line of defence to avenge any hurt. With armour at the ready, they head off for the battle. Drawing near, they hear the porch's guns a prattle. The colonel shouts instructions known as the drill. He's fought so many wars, he has such fighting skill. Left, right, left, right, the soldiers dig in time. Orders are important when you're on the front line. By digging tunnels underground, they stay out of sight. It's the element of surprise that helps them win their fight. Their conquests are famous, talked of far and wide. They've killed more than 40 poachers and deprived them of their hide. Some they've stuffed and placed within the Lion King's palace. One presides at dinner. He holds a golden chalice. Another poacher, in a tux, stands by the front door. A reminder to a human guest. Don't forget the score. A third is up upon the wall. In his hand he holds a gun. But look closely at his legs. And you'll see he's trying to run. The giant armadillos are heroes in this land. When they appear, the natives shake them by the hand. But these giant armadillos cannot stop for long. To help them move at pace, they chant a burrowing song. Poacher, poacher, here we come. We aren't afraid of your gun. The armadillos are on your trail. And you should know we won't fail if you let our friends roam free. You will live to eat your tea. Poacher, poacher, here we come. It's time for you to start to run. But if you relent and let us be, you will soon start to see the wildlife that you tried to own is much more beautiful when left alone. Well, what did you think of that? <laughs> you got to hear my strange singing and to learn about giant armadillos. Well, these giant armadillos anyway. And it's true what they say. Wildlife is much better left alone to fly and run and walk and slither and burrow and do whatever wildlife does out in the free. Isn't that lovely? So what do you think? Draw. Why don't you draw a giant armadillo? Would he have armour on him? Would he have a hat on? If you think about an armadillo, if you don't know what one is, they've kind of got armour on them already. They're kind of armoured armadillos. <laughs> so you draw one for us and have fun. You could pretend to be an armadillo if you'd like. From me, that's it. It's quite a short and sweet one, I suspect. But I will be back with more for you. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Ta-ra! <laughs>